Tonight in Warren Bureau News, we have the story of people living at the Wilderness Park Mobile Home Park in Clarendon. They have faced a challenging situation after being without water for not one, two, but 13 days. As our Jackie Palmer found out, the Department of Environmental Protection stepped in to address the issue, but encountered difficulties in locating the source of a water break. The Department of Environmental Protection initially believed that the issue lay in the distribution system, which is a common occurrence. However, after several attempts, they discovered that the leak was closer to the water treatment plant. Generally, when something like, like this occurs, it's somewhere in the distribution system, but that wasn't the case here. After multiple attempts to find the break, it was determined that the leak was actually coming from the immediate vicinity of the water treatment plant. Once the source was located, the DEP managed to restore water to the residents, but it remained non-potable until the 10th. Off camera, some residents shared their struggles during the nearly two-week outage. The water went off. It was a uh, Saturday, I think it was Saturday About afternoon. One, one o'clock, yeah. Um, the local managers that are in our park They've been doing the best they can. They've supplied us with bottled water. It's scary. You can't clean your home. And they did offer us showers, but I'm not able to take a public shower. Representatives from the Department of Environmental Protection acknowledged the challenges and commended the efforts of the site manager and certified operator. It was a challenging situation. We felt like the on-site manager and certified operator really took the appropriate steps to notify the DEP of the incident. And although it took a a little longer than, than they'd like. We are happy to see that the, the customers got uh, potable water again. Residents are relieved to finally have water back after nearly two weeks without and are hopeful for an uneventful winter. Reporting in Warren County, Jackie Palmer, Erie News Now. Jackie, thank